New details have emerged about a phone call Kaylee Gonzalez placed to her boyfriend on the night she was murdered. Could the boyfriend now be a suspect in Kaylee's murder? The answer may surprise you. At about noon on November 13, 2022, four University of Idaho students were found deceased at their shared residence in Moscow, Idaho. They were identified as Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Kernodal, Madison Mogan, and Ethan Chapin. The coroner noted that the students were killed with an edged weapon, most likely a knife, and the scene of the crime was brutal. According to the authorities who reported to the scene, the door was open upon their arrival and there were no signs of forced entry. Visitors needed to input a code on the keypad lock to gain access to the residence. However, Gonzalez's sister said that parties were regularly held there and many people knew the entry code. Based on the investigation, Kernodal and Chapin went to a frat party while Gonzalez and Mogan visited a sports bar on the night of November 12th. At about 1.30 a.m. on November 13th, Gonzalez and Mogan were seen ordering from a food truck before they returned to their residence via a private party driver. Police noted that all four were back at home before 2 a.m. The four students also had two other female housemates who were unharmed in the incident, but investigators stated that they are not suspects. Every tip we get, every lead we get, there's no one that we're not going to talk to, there's no one we're not going to interview. Police investigating the case call it a targeted attack, and they didn't find a weapon at the crime scene. Based on the information that was gathered, the murders occurred between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. on November 13th, as reported by the New York Post. Kaylee Gonzalez's mother, Christy, told Fox News that she received photos from her daughter on Saturday afternoon, and they also talked on the phone. Gonzalez's sister, Olivia, said that her sister's phone records show that she called a man named Jack Ducour several times on the night she was murdered. The call log has six calls between 6.26 a.m. and 2.44 a.m. to Decor. Madison Mogan also called the same person three times between 2.44 a.m. and 2.52 a.m. The last call to the man on Gonzalez's phone was logged at 2.52 a.m. The residence where the students lived had six bedrooms and three floors. Investigators say the four who were murdered were found on the second and third floors, and the two who survived most likely slept through the incident. The two roommates woke up the next day and called their friends, believing one of the victims had passed out. 911 was called when the friends arrived at the home. Jack Ducour was identified as Kaylee Gonzalez's childhood friend, who was also her longtime boyfriend. According to Gonzalez's mother, Christy, however, the two were having a break from their relationship when the incident occurred, as reported by Fox News. Christy is firm in her belief that Ducour had nothing to do with the murders. She said that she considers him part of their family, and he was distraught about Kaylee's death. Christy told Fox News, Jack is 1,000%, 2,000% our family, and Jack is with us, and we stand behind him 100%. They would have eventually been married, and they would have eventually had children. Ducour told investigators that he was sleeping when Kaylee called him, which is why he wasn't able to answer the repeated calls. Gonzalez's sister said that it was not unusual for her sister to make calls at odd hours, as noted by the New York Times. Gonzalez was a senior at the University of Idaho and was a member of the Alpha Phi sorority. She was slated for early graduation in December and had already secured work at a marketing firm in Texas, where she had planned to move. As of November 22, 2022, authorities have not named a suspect in the murders of the four students. The police have received hundreds of tips and conducted nearly 100 interviews to get information that could lead to the apprehension of the perpetrator. The Moscow Police Department is working with state law enforcement as well as the FBI in the investigation.